All of the grades that you see in this video will be utilizing our football game plan scouting prospect grading scale, which you can find all of our prospect rankings, all 532 on our website at footballgameplan.com slash FBGP scouting. The Bears did some moving and shaking in the 2017 NFL Draft with a lot of capital utilized to move up one spot in the first round, but they were able to address multiple offensive needs with their picks. Quarterback Mitchell Trubisky was the first quarterback off the board and the most questionable pick, in my opinion, of the Bears draft. And I'm not saying questionable in the sense that Trubisky can't play, but you have to ask yourself if you're a Bears fan, knowing all of what you know now, would you still take Alex Smith second overall in the NFL draft? Because in my opinion, that's who Trubisky's game is similar to. Plus, they missed an opportunity to add an additional premier pass rusher or an elite level ball hawk in the secondary. The pick was also questionable because if we're being honest, Trubisky may not be better than what is now a highly motivated Mike Glennon at quarterback, who I had the same grade on coming out of NC State. So this will be interesting to watch moving forward. This was a huge and in my opinion, unnecessary gamble for Chicago. Now, with all that being said, they did add some very good pieces on offense, starting with tight end Adam Shaheen out of Ashland. He's a flex tight end that can be utilized all across the formation and should immediately become a solid red zone option for the Bears. And the Bears got one of the best backs in the draft into Rick Cohen out of North Carolina A&T. Cohen, in my opinion, is the best back on this roster because of his game-breaking ability. Jordan Howard is an average runner, and I don't mean average in a negative way, but if you're being honest with yourself, he left a ton of yards out there on the field, and a lot of his big runs would have been touchdowns with Cohen. That's what the Bears are getting with him, a home run hitter that's capable of scoring on any given play. And if you if you have that ability as a football player, you want him on the field at all times and not just third downs. Jordan Morgan was outstanding on film. He was a left tackle at cuts down a football game plan preseason All-American and will more than likely play guard as a pro. He has the footwork, the athleticism, and the talent to succeed at this level. He was able to step in and hold his own very well at the Senior Bowl. Defensively, I like the fourth round selection of Eddie Jackson out of Alabama. Had he come out last year, he might have been a late first, early second round pick. So he's coming off an injury, but if at 100%, he brings very good instincts and ball skills to the back end. Rashad Coward is one of the more underrated defensive draft prospects in this draft class. For a man that size to move that well and be that productive is highly impressive. He's an outstanding player for Old Dominion. He can serve multiple roles up front and will be able to excel anywhere he's put. And the Bears continue to get better offensively with two offensive linemen and Diego Joseph out of Florida International who's coming off a solid week of work at the East-West Shrine game and Mitchell Kirsch of James Madison who was also a football game plan preseason FCS All-American. He's coming off of an injury but he has the ability to play tackle or guard equally as effective. He's a versatile offensive lineman. Fullback Freddie Stevenson can serve as a short yardage goal line runner in addition to his above average blocking skills. I thought he was a draftable prospect and the Bears got themselves a starter at fullback that has soft hands coming out of the backfield. I gave the Bears a B-plus for their draft. I thought they came away with some great football players that instantly upgrade the roster. The quarterback selection is what kept this from being an A simply because of the reach and negative value in my opinion. However, if he does in fact turn out to be Alex Smith with the roster that the Bears have built around him, being a consistent playoff team isn't necessarily a bad thing. 